Show. Brian Alvarez here, Wrestling Observer Live. Mike Sempervivi, also WrestlingObserver.com. So as I noted in the opening segment here today, very weird moment last night on Raw. So Mickey James is wrestling Asuka, which I thought was a very good match. Apparently Dave thought they messed up a lot of stuff. Where's everyone else fall here? Am I, am I in the minority or am I in the majority? But anyway, I was enjoying the match. And Asuka does his flying arm bar into the Asuka lock. And one of the things I liked about the match is that they just, what was one near fall after another? And I mean, usually, you know, we have so many of these two minute nothing women's matches on Raw that, you know, they were giving Mickey a lot. And Asuka finally goes for the Asuka lock, and I thought, my God, it's over. What a good match. But then Mickey rolls back into a cradle. They're going to do another near fall. So she rolls back. She's cradling, or she's not cradling her, but she's basically holding her down. And the referee should be counting. But instead, he waves the match off. And Mickey falls back. And her eyes are wide. She looks right at the referee. She's in the Oscar lock. And she puts both of her arms out like, what are you doing? It was like an MMA fight. When when the referee stops to fight and the fighter who lost the match can't believe that the referee stopped it. So there's confusion. The announcers don't know what's going on. The Zoom audience is booing. And the referee's saying something to Mickey, which I couldn't hear, by the way. And then he goes over and he tells the ring announcer that the winner of the match is Asuka because Mickey is unable to continue. I was like, what? I went back and I watched it again and I watched it again. Uh, For the life of me, I couldn't figure out what happened. I mean, I, I knew that there was like no way this could be the finish because Mickey, I mean, she's practically in tears afterwards, which I guess would have played into the storyline that it might be her last chance ever. But she looked, she looked mad. And then... They roll outside because they're going to do an angle. And the referee's on the floor with Mickey for a while, and they're just talking. So, as it turns out, the referee screwed up. And I don't have a lot of details. I was just told by, like, three different people that the ref screwed up. What I think happened, I think that the referee thought that Mickey was injured. And so he waved it off when, in fact... She wasn't injured. I think that's what happened. So it, it's, I mean, you got to be, it's safety first. And if the referee thought she was hurt, I mean, I guess you could say that he made the right call. I mean, I don't know what he thought happened because as I'm watching it, I mean, she doesn't look hurt at all. They're doing their spots. They're doing their match. But that's what happened. I, I seem, I could be wrong. I feel like this referee has has botched several finishes over the last couple of months. Again, I would rather you erred on the side of caution but there does seem to be a track record here. I could be wrong, but anyway, that's what happened last night. So that was that was the one thing I wanted to get out at the start of the show here today. And the rest of the show was the rest of the show. They they loaded it up going head-to-head with NFL. They loaded it up over the weekend, as we noted. I think they had one big match announced last week, which was the champion versus champion match. I guess they might have done Asuka versus Mickey James, but they, they'd given Mickey no credibility, so it's not, not like that one counted. But the... The cage match, the Keith Lee, Seth Rollins match, which, by the way, had no finish. Every idea that we came up with for the finish, they just had, uh, you know, retribution. The group that calls themselves Revolution run in. That was lame. And now, as far as I know, we got nothing announced for next week, which I even know is going head-to-head with football again. So I'm sure they'll announce some stuff on SmackDown. But there you go. Mike, what do you think of this Raw show? Uh, yeah, yeah, about 16 more weeks of football to go, and uh, we'll see how they do there. But, uh, I, you know, the the funny uh, retribution already being instilled as, I mean, there's 10 of them, and they're, they're fighting the Hurt Business. And I'm not saying they didn't have the number situation on the Hurt Business. Obviously, they did. I'm not sure, you know, if they were doing a, a really good job uh, letting the people at home know, though, that they are, are here and they're ready to wipe out the entire roster. I mean, they just, I don't know. I, I, I guess I could pile on retribution. I'll just have to see going forward what they do with it. But it just seems already like we are at sub-Nexus levels uh, are already going into, you know, before the thing even gets off the ground. But we'll, we'll see how it goes there. Raw Underground, is this, I, I'm not 
sure how this does, you know, with quarterly ratings. Maybe there's a, obviously there's a reason that they're keeping it around, but I'm not even against the concept at this point, but how they go about throwing to and from it, who they decide to use in it, oh, bro. which just is just thrown up in the air, how Shane comes to make these decisions on how you stop fights and how you promote fights. It's just like it has absolutely... I mean, there's absolutely no thought behind it seemingly whatsoever other than this is going to be a segment on the show and it's probably going to be pretty fun for everybody to kind of to, to film. Other than that, what is this and what are you doing? Dude, I should set a timer for one minute for myself, which I'm actually going to do. I'm going to, I'm going to set a timer here because I know that you guys are, are absolutely sick to death of hearing about this, but I'm going to complain about it till the day I die. Here's a timer. One minute to rant. I'm so sick of how Raw and SmackDown do their commercial breaks. Dude, I'm so sick of it. They cannot do these commercials to save their lives. The the, the match starts, we go one minute, we go to commercial, we come back and someone's getting beaten on. A minute of wrestling before the commercial. Dude, have the people come down to the ring, go to the commercial break, come back and ring the bell. Why can't we do that? Every segment they do, whether there's, it's an interview segment, whether it's a brawl that starts backstage, whether it's it's something, it's like in the middle of it, they go to commercial. Last night, Michael Cole's talking and they went to the commercial break in the middle of him talking. I hate this. <laughs> 47 <laughs> seconds, I'll stop it there. They, like, they get your go. act together. My last 10 seconds, get your act together. Figure out how to do these commercial breaks where I can actually watch the show like a normal person. You know who used to do to the back, to the commercial? Impact. Impact. They did that for years, and it sucked. It sucked on that show. It ain't no better on this show. I'm done.